Hi. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about orthorexia. Um, I often see people that say things such as, oh, my doctor or my therapist says that I have orthorexia. And then they'll sort of say, you know, like, oh, I know it's, I know it's not as bad as anorexia, but I just really want it to stop everyone else sort of out. And I'm like, whoa, it is as bad as anorexia. Um, I think that often orthorexia sort of is passed off as this lesser evil. Um, and I really don't see much difference at all between orthorexia and anorexia. Most of the time they co co-occur. But the reason that people get told, oh, you have orthorexia and not anorexia is often to do with the body weight that they present at. And so in my experience, the people who present at a low body weight, a very underweight body weight, are around 20% of the people that I see with eating disorders. That's 20%. So that means 80% of people that I see with eating disorders are not presenting as particularly underweight. Um, and so what can I gain from that? Well, what in my experience, the majority of people with restrictive eating disorders are not presenting as underweight. Does that mean that they are any less sick? No, it doesn't. Not when you understand the mental state repercussions of having an eating disorder. And so that doesn't differ. Whether your diagnosis is anorexia or orthorexia, the mental state repercussions do not differ. It still creates the same degree of anxiety. It still creates all of the bargaining and the negotiating. It still wrecks your social life because you can't just be free and go somewhere because there might be food that you can't eat. It still creates all of the mental barriers and rule sets that anorexia creates. So I don't really see them as different things. The reason I'll say it again, that people differentiate between orthorexia and anorexia is often to do with the body weight that a person presents at. But if we can get over seeing a person's body weight as much of a diagnostic tool or actually anything that tells us anything much about the state of their eating disorder, then we can actually start to look at the mental state repercussions of this disorder and the effect that it's having on that person. And that can help us understand the severity of that. Orthorexia can be crippling. It is just as much of a problem as anorexia and in the world, according to me, honestly, it's the same thing. It's just presenting itself slightly differently. It doesn't matter. And so if you have been to a doctor, been to a therapist, and you've had that line of, oh, you know, I think it's an orthorexia problem. Don't, 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 don't let them convince you that is any less worth treating than anorexia, whatever they else they could diagnose you with. Just think, you know what? They're just using physical state for a diagnostic tool rather than mental state. And that is next to useless.